Hello YouTube, welcome back to another game of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. This is going to be the next part of this tournament, SOS vs Beyond. And it is going to be a best of seven. So it's the last season, uh, last uh, series of the tournament. And uh, currently this is game number six. So obviously there's been five games previously. If you haven't seen those, I would really recommend watching those on the um, using the links in the description. Because of course... It's terrible to start at the beginning of a, or right in the middle of a series, because you're of course getting spoiled. So the scores are about to be shown up, but let's very, very quickly introduce our players here. On the bottom left hand side here, we've got Bion on X team, and he's from South Korea. And his opponent, SOS, who's on the top right hand side here, and he is the Blue Protoss. SOS is on Jin Air Green Wings team, and he is from South Korea. So let's see how this one progresses. Score is about to be displayed. Whoops. So Beyond currently on two. SOS currently on three. So let's see how this one plays out. It is the last one. The second last one. There's seven games. Six games, yes. Yeah. Seven, six, yeah. So let's see. Looks like we've got a gateway here. Got a cybernetic score. So quite a strange start. This kind of is looking like he's gonna do a one base play. No, but one base play is not gonna end well, realistically. Then again, it's all about how well Bjorn responds to it. He does have his command center on the way. He's starting off with Marines, not with Reapers. So he's gonna be probably a little bit less susceptible to cheese since he'll have proper units rather than pesky reapers that are good for basically just harassment. So what is he building here? Looks like double stalkers. Does have a pylon peculiarly set up over here. Standing out like a sore thumb. And let's see what he's going to do with that. Just want to quick check, did Beyond see where he is? No, he hasn't actually scouted him yet, so he's about to scout him now. Pylon being put down over here. Now this is kind of out of, the, out of the way of everything. Usually you'd see the building, any proxies being built over here. So this is a little bit risky. And it is a robotics facility. So proxy going down, it looks like a one base play still. Oh, interesting, that SCV has actually still not spotted anything. It got destroyed before it managed to reach the base. Twelve army to ten, very close. Looks like a one-one-one build, as per usual from Bion. Quite predictable. He seems to be making this every game, almost every game, minus that one game previously where he made a reaper at the start. Whoa, big difference. But no, this this build just seems to be working so well. Obviously, he's in the in the grand final here, so not a laughing build at all. But he seems to be, I think, overusing it just a little bit. So let's see, he does have a proxy gateway, proxy robotics, which have not been spotted and probably won't be spotted until it's a bit too late. When these engagements start happening, he's going to see that there's very quick reinforcements coming down and he's going to realize that there's probably at least a pylon on outside. So let's see. It's probably going to be a quick game. I mean, if this doesn't work, then SOS is not going to be able to respond or react out of it. Unless, of course, he does a huge amount of damage and sets Beyond very far back as well. I'm moving straight in here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stalkers. A few mortals on the in place as well. Spreading out his units just to prevent more units from being hit. So just losing one stalker to that. He's got 25 against 21, so he's got the army supply. Just slightly ahead. Denying this, this barracks, which is probably the correct action to take here. He doesn't want that to finish. Oh no, those marines are gonna get out. And there we go, starting to thin out that army. SCV's also being taken out, as you can see, they're in the front. And that's the barracks gone. There's no more barracks here, it seems. So it's now or never. If he manages to hold us off, then SOS might GG out. 
If he doesn't, then of course he's lost at that point. He does have the Liberator in the air. The Liberator, though, not doing a whole lot. Very low on health at this point and getting sniped off. Whew. Okay, and he sees that there is no base here. He just scouted that out, so he knows this is at one base all in. As you can see here, this has paid off quite nicely. 25 versus 3 supply, and I think that he's probably just writing his GG message right now. Bjorn, I believe, is over here. GG, just a simple GG. No congratulations, no nothing. And that is pretty much that. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this one. That was the end of the series. So, SOS taking the game with four victories. And uh, that is pretty much it. And that is it for our tournament. A, the very, very last video, the total video count here, I believe was about 30 games. So 30 games throughout one tournament, and I did all that in just one day. So I casted that over just under eight hours. Um, my throat was killing me. So I'm doing this outro, unfortunately, on the next day because I just could not record them on the same day. I was just so tired. And uh, what an ending to that. Finishing the game with an all-in one base rush with uh, Stalkers and Immortals. Hope you have enjoyed this. Of course, leave as many of these videos as you can a like. And of course, if you haven't done so already and you like what you saw here, subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a lot more where this came from. And uh, it's going to be Intellectual Masters, ESLs, WCSs, Dream, uh, Dream Hacks, yeah and uh, Nation Wars, whatever you can think of. If it's on there with the pro scene, I will be trying to do it. So that's pretty much it. Good luck, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.